my charmed ones and welcome back to my channel for another video. Okay, so today's video is going to be a little bit different than what you normally see me do. As you can see here, I'm in my car, which is not incredibly rare for me, I guess. But we're inside my car because I actually realized that I really, really wanted to clean my car out. Um, it's been a while since I've cleaned the inside of my car out, like, you know, like vacuuming it out, reorganizing it, etc. And I thought, you know what, why don't I film it and see if I could turn it into a video because some of you might be interested in seeing things like this. I knew that I like watching organization videos of all different types. I love car organization videos. So I thought that this might be a good opportunity to share with you guys, you know, how I organize my car, some different things I keep in my car that you guys might be interested in, and how I keep my car really clean. Because I would say that I'm definitely someone who takes like a tremendous amount of pride in my belongings and especially in my motor vehicles. True story if you guys have never heard this before, um, but when my brother and I each turned 16, um, individually, like we're like two years apart <laughs> and I'm older. Um, my father actually bought each of us a classic car from the year of our birth and restored it. So he got us each like these old cars and I got a 1986 Ford Thunderbird, which I absolutely loved. I absolutely loved that car. And actually he and I together ended up restoring it. So it was like a very old car that he had gotten. And basically he and I together like took it apart, fixed things of you know thick fix things inside of it um we had to have things replaced i had to have parts of it reupholstered but it was like kind of like a daddy daughter project that we did together because my dad is you know essentially like a mechanic amongst other things that he does kind of a jack of all trades there um and so he pretty much instilled in me like a love of my vehicles and like how important it is to take care of your cars and things like that. So I think I'm kind of one of those girls out there who's a little bit handier with their car and not afraid to do things with it. Like I've changed brakes in my car before, not this vehicle. This is probably the first vehicle that I don't touch a lot of things inside of. And that's because a lot of newer vehicles and, you know, this is a, like a little bit of a higher end sort of a car. Um, they have a lot of computer parts inside of them. So this is probably the first car that all I can really do to take pride in it is to keep it clean. So I'm not going to be washing the outside of it because it has been raining and I don't think that's necessary right now, but it could definitely use like a vacuuming up and like a tidying up inside because it gets pretty dusty in here. So I'm going to go ahead right now, basically, and walk you through like how I would clean this up. Now, something I'm using right now to do this is my Dyson stick vacuum. I forget what this is called, but I took the long hose off of it and just attached directly to it like this small nozzle. I also have this part. <laughs> like I know what any of these things are. <laughs> and this part, if they have different names, <laughs> I'm sorry. I just like the shape of these. So I've got something to get into nooks and crannies. I've got something for bigger. Um, and I've got something for like full-blown carpets. I also have leather cleaning wipes and I have these special wipes that are one of them is like nav screen tech screen wipes and the other one is a glass wipe so I'm not sure like how these work necessarily if I'm supposed to get them wet or not um, I wasn't necessarily going to like wash things down like my windows but we'll see what ends up happening also you know I just realized sorry if I'm looking down looking at my phone which is like connected to this camera as like the screen but um I'm wearing very little makeup right now. I just like throw on a little bit of makeup to do this and I'm not wearing my glasses and my hair is not done or anything. So if I look a little different than normal, that's why I kind of just felt like turning on the camera and showing you guys what I was doing. So let's go ahead and I'm going to kind of walk you through me doing this, let you guys see what I'm doing and we'll do a little bit of organization and then I'll show you maybe some fun things in my car that you might be interested in. Okay, let's get started. The first thing I do when I'm cleaning my car is remove the mats and shake them out a bit. As you can see, I use the set of all weather rubber mats that came with my car as opposed to the fabric mats because I do have dogs and I live in an area that gets a lot of snow, so it's just easier to have the rubber ones in year round. Plus, I like the way they contrast with the shale interior of the vehicle better. 
Next thing I do is vacuum the floors using my Dyson Stick Vac. I think in pretty much all vehicles, this is the cleaning step that can often make the biggest difference because we're always tracking in dirt and debris into our vehicles. Personally speaking, I also tend to get a lot of sand in my car from trips to the park and the beach, which is such a hassle to clean out. Seriously, during the summer, I need to make sure I vacuum my car out at least once a month because the sand really starts to build up and it can eat away at the metal in your car. I also make sure to vacuum out the dog seat really well because they track in a lot of debris from trips to the park as well. My trunk specifically is always a magnet for sand because I do keep beach mats and blankets back there year round because you just never know when you'll need them. If you haven't been able to tell yet, this Dyson vacuum is a serious lifesaver. It's so versatile inside my home and inside my vehicle as well. It just really gets into a lot of different places and is like the one tool I need to clean most things in my life. Once the trunk is cleaned out, I will reorganize it a little bit. I always keep a few essentials in the trunk, a large brush for snow and ice in the winter, a giant beach mat, reusable shopping bags, a spare jacket, an extra leash, and then inside my storage compartment, I like to tuck away those beach towel blankets, an extra luggage bag, a hanger, and I also have a special seat cover that fits into the back seat of my car in case the dogs get sick while we're driving, it protects the leather. Once the car is vacuumed, I start with the cleaning wipes. Since most upholstery and even some of the surfaces in my vehicle are leather, I do use the leather wipes for most of it. This makes it really convenient to clean and these wipes work very well. I usually start by wiping down all of the surfaces in an area and then going in hard on any areas that look particularly dirty. Luckily for me, my car doesn't really get very dirty despite having a lighter colored leather interior. So usually the biggest thing I'm cleaning off my upholstery is makeup that's transferred from my hands. But I do get a lot of dust, particularly in the nav station and front dash area because that's a darker finish. I was actually very lucky today and I only saw one spider while cleaning, which is new. For whatever reason, my vehicle is also a magnet for spiders as well. Again, the main source of staining in my car tends to be makeup, which is always caked on the knobs and dials of my dash. Anything I touch frequently always needs a good hard scrub. Once I'm done the upholstery, I will go ahead and put the floor mats back in and I usually also wipe those down and even vacuum them once more because the rubber mats do have lots of grooves that collect extra debris. Finally, I like to wrap up in the driver's seat and give my steering wheel a good deep clean. Okay, so now that I've sufficiently messed up my newly painted nails cleaning my entire car, um, the last thing that I like to do when I'm cleaning my car is do like a scent or something. So I actually have like a ton of like different smell things in the car. Um, I have this like citrusy spray because I really like the smell of citrus. Um, I also have these Yankee candle sticks things that are in the color or the flavor Midsummer's Night. Um, but my absolute favorite thing to spray in my car is essential oils. So I keep this little spray thing filled with, um, this is like one of these little pop-up spray things um, that has essential oil inside that's jasmine. That's like my favorite smell inside my car. Um, there used to be this place, well, it's it's still there, in South Jersey where I used to live, and it's a car wash, and you can pick your, like, scent out that you want them to spray inside your car, and I used to always choose jasmine, um, so I decided to take a little bit with me and put a little bit of essential oil, jasmine essential oils, in my car. Okay, so now that the car is properly cleaned, and smells incredibly clean. Let me go ahead and show you some of the fun things that I always keep in my car. The first thing that I always have in my car is a pair of prescription sunglasses and glasses. So these are the prescription sunglasses I actually keep in my car for driving in case um, I need them. I usually am always wearing my glasses or my sunglasses and they're all prescription, but I like to have a pair like in the car. And I think I actually also have in my glove compartment, 
a backup, yeah, a backup pair of regular glasses. I don't always like need these. It's very rare that I ever need them really, but I have actually been in like a very few situations where I've needed them. Um, either because I've only worn sunglasses out and I stayed out longer than I expected and then it got dark and I needed my glasses. And then one time I actually broke my glasses while I was out and needed the backup pair. So always good to keep a pair of backup glasses, sunglasses in your car if you're someone who needs prescriptions the way I do. Another thing that I have here on my side of whatever we call this, the side console on the driver's side, okay, is this little marble, white marble case that I think it's actually supposed to be like an earbud case, um, but I keep change in it. And this came from Five Below, which is really convenient. I also keep a very cute little bag with some necessities in it in here. So I have some wet ones, Cottonelle flushable wipes. Never know when you're gonna need something like that. Makeup removing wipes. And I also have my Sage Wellness Peppermint Halo Wand. This is for like, if I get a migraine, um, it kind of has like a point on it and you can like put essential oil, like peppermint oil, like onto your scalp and it helps with migraines. So I've got that in my car as well. I also have this little guy, which Honestly, this is actually, do you see like a theme first of all, by the way? I mean, not only do I keep my house like properly themed, but like black quilted, <laughs> everything has to match with me. Um, this is actually supposed to be a, what is that called? Where people smoke and put the ash, ashtray. This is supposed to be an ashtray, um, but I actually use it as a little trash can. <laughs> And I keep that down on my driver's side as well. Now, let me go ahead and flip you over for a second and show you some other things that are kind of like installed in my car, I guess. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is this really cute thing right here. This is like a bedazzled phone holder. So I can just like put my phone in here when I'm driving if I needed to. Um, my car has GPS, so I don't normally need the GPS on my phone, but it is nice to have like if you're going for a long ride a place for you to like put your phone so you can see it um, while you're driving so you don't feel the need to like pick it up and like, I don't know, mess with it if you see messages. I also am really big on using a steering wheel cover as well. Number one, this car is a little bit older and you know, the steering wheel does get like dirty very easily, but it also is very thin steering wheel. So I like having like this extra padded one that I can use that kind of gives me some extra grip. Um, because I'm excessively girly, I also have one of these like stick on fake diamond, I don't know, um, rings around my stop start button, which actually I should have tried to clean that a little bit while the car's off. I just hope it doesn't turn the car on. I'll do that in a second. I also have this very beautiful faux flower, which actually is an essential oil diffuser. So there's actually like a little pad in the back of that that I can put essential oils on. And I do do that from time to time. But generally speaking, I just spray that like jasmine spray as well. But I like having it. I think it's pretty. I think it looks cute. It's like a nice little accessory. And it also has a very functional um, function in my car. I also am kind of crazy and I like to keep a crystal in my car. So I have a tourmalated quartz in there. Um, and actually have just like this little pebble from the beach. It's just like kind of like a little reminder thing for me. And you can see I didn't do the best job cleaning in there. There's a little bit of dust. And I also have up here on my passenger side up on like the visor, I have a refillable tissue holder. As you can see, it's kind of empty right now. And it actually looking up close, it's actually kind of starting to come apart, but I've had it for a few years now and it's like pretty handy. So I could probably just glue it back together if it like completely falls apart. Um, but yeah, um, I think that might be it for all of the cute little accessory things in my car. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It was something a little different for me. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sure you probably didn't pick up like too many big tips because I think a lot of people know how to clean their car, but 
maybe just think of this video as a reminder that you should be doing it a little bit more often. And for me personally, I think I said this in the intro, but I think it warrants saying it again. I am very big into taking care of my things and like making sure that I am keeping like my car clean and things like that that are important and like very valuable to me. I think that's a really important practice. And it reminds me a lot of what Marie Kondo always talks about with, you know, being appreciative of your possessions and making sure you keep them organized and clean and things like that because it really does like show the world and like shows the universe like energetically that you are willing to take care of your things and if you guys had paid attention to that sort of um, podcast that I had done my tube cast episodes you know that I'm really big into taking care of my things because I think that they can energetically feel it and they kind of know that you're taking care of them and they end up lasting for far longer. So I'm the kind of person that like keeps my cars for like 10 years. Like I literally will keep them for a very long time. Um, and obviously that's something that like helps save me money if I don't have to keep buying new cars all the time. And I do think that keeping my car clean regularly um, is part of that whole process of, you know, saving me money by keeping my car, you know, lasting longer, like longevity wise. So that's why I do kind of recommend like, you know, keeping your car clean on an ongoing basis and like trying to clean it, like maybe a deep clean, like once a month or like once a quarter at the most. So for me, you know, I can go a little bit longer cleaning my car because I don't have kids and like, there's not a lot of people coming in and out of my vehicle. So it does stay relatively clean, but you know, I still track in dirt and mud and things like that and leaves as you saw as I was cleaning up. So it's important for me to keep it clean, show my car respect because it is something it's important to me and I want it to last a long time. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and check the description box because I'm going to leave you guys links to some of the fun things that I showed you in my car down there. So thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye!